G'day everyone and welcome to Melbourne Power Equipment. Today we're going to run through how to adjust the valve clearances on the Honda GX390 engine. This is the same procedure for most of the Honda GX series engines, the only difference is the rocker cover. So it's the same for the GX390, the GX340 and the GX270. And the rocker cover slightly changes down at the GX200, the GX160, the GX140 and the GX120. You're going to want to do this adjustment today with a cold engine as the adjustments will be off if you do it while the engine is hot. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, the first step is to remove the recoil. I've already done it on this one. So it's three 10 mil bolts there, just so you can turn the engine over easily. Okay, next we need to remove the rocker cover in order to access the rockers to adjust the valve clearance. Just a 10mm bolt. Let's take that one out. Just grab that breather tube off as well. Okay, and next we'll take the spark plug out. So take the spark plug cap off. And grab your 13 16 socket. Okay, to adjust the valve clearances, we need to find top dead center on compression stroke. Now on a four cycle engine, there is two top dead centers in the cycle. There is compression stroke, and there is a stroke when the exhaust valve and the intake valve are overlapping. So I'll show you how to find out which is which. So you can either grab a little torch and look down in the cylinder to find out when the piston comes to the top. Or a little screwdriver you can poke down, but just be careful of the spark bug threads if you're going that way. Right, so you turn the engine over. So that's at the top there. As you can see, both valves are rocking. That's at top dead center, so that's the incorrect stroke we want to adjust the valve clearances on. So keep turning the engine over. This and comes to the top again. It's now top dead center on compression stroke. That's where you want to adjust your valve clearances. Okay, so I need a 14 mil spanner and a 10 mil socket. And we're just going to loosen those lock nuts off. So hold the 14 mil spanner on the big nut and loosen the small 10 mil nut off. Now that can move freely. A little tip is just to tighten that 10 mil nut up just ever so slightly. So when you do make the movements, it's a little bit more controlled. Okay, so the valve clearances for the Honda Jack series is 6 thou on the intake and 8 thou on the exhaust, or 0.15 millimeter on the intake and 0.20 millimeter on the exhaust. And that's when it's cold. So grab our 6 thou feeler gauge. We'll pop that between the rocker and the top of the valve and that's too tight there obviously because I can't get it in. We'll loosen off that nut and then you do it up till you've got resistance on your feeler gauge but you can still move it through just like that. So it's a bit tight to move your feeler gauge through but you still can. Without moving that 14 mil nut, lock them up. And then just always double check. Perfect. Now the exhaust is 8 thou, the 8 thou feeler gauge. And we do exactly the same thing. So that one's loose. Way too loose. Mm 
go. It's got a nice bit of resistance on it now, but we can still move it around in there. Let's double check. That's perfect. Give them both one final lock up. both adjusted. Okay, pop our spark plug back in. cover back on with a new gasket and just make sure that little breather pipe goes back up on the air filter elbow. Do that 10mm bolt back up. Before it goes tight, just to make sure it's all on nice and straight. Okay, now pop our spark plug cap back on. And that's it, you're all done. We have to now is pop the recoil back on and you're good to go. Thanks heaps for watching today's video. I hope it has helped. If you liked today's video and you'd like to see more of them, hit that like and subscribe button to keep up to date with all the latest ones we're sending out. Thanks heaps, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you next time.